this is very important this is the last slide very important see clinical clinical points in catabolite fate recently i have not discussed any clinical points because i united all the clinical points here at a time you can see in catabolic fate of phenylalanine or tyrosine in tyrosine metabolism i kept star marks very important metabolisms these are very important we have clinical so much importance for this that's why i have written in separate page this is the last one listen carefully okay see in third class hydrolase this is second class transferase this is first class oxidoreductase for example in third class hydrolase this reaction is taking place in tyrosine catabolic fate or tyrosine metabolism all these reactions you will get okay if you know the tyrosine metabolism you can remember this metabolisms f femoral estoestate fa converting into femoral and estoestate what is this you know ketogenic fate i already discussed it what is this glucogenic fate okay you know that in tyrosine metabolism you will get ketogenic fate and glucogenic fate i already told you before that is the reason we are getting the reaction in the you can remember like that okay next here tyrosine converting into phpp first reaction in tyrosine degradation para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate you can see here transferase it comes under second class transferase because you can see trans here we discussed the name starting with trans we will get aminase aldolase ketolase we discussed okay we discussed so transferase here see hydrolase why hydrolase in green color related to enzyme hydrolase means see you can see here adding of water okay adding of water you can see hydrolase you can add water here okay i forgot to mention add water so hydrolase in your books you can see in reaction water will be definitely there that is the reason the name of enzyme is hydrolase by this seeing the reaction you can name that it is hydrolase fumarale hydrolase because it is fumarale fumarale ester state it is fumarale hydrolase okay plus plus means adding of water now getting into this class 1 class 1 this phpp when tyrosine converted into phpp next reaction is second reaction para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate is converting into homogenesate you know that very well already we have told this before so in this way measure all the reactions in tyrosine also completed same as in krebs cycle and same as in glycolysis you completed also this tyrosine all the steps almost all the steps of tyrosine catabolism are completed here along with the enzymes you are completing also the reactions also here only so at last you can just see this before exam just you can see all these pages before exam just for revision every reaction is covered under major important metabolisms and every enzyme is covered in major reactions okay so coming to class 1 class 1 is see this is third one third example that is the reason i told in class 1 this is the third example phpp dioxygenase because in class 1 class 1 in subclass of oxygenase we have monooxygenase and dioxygenase if you can remember in class 1 in the third subclass of oxygenase we have mono and dioxygenase in dioxygenase i have discussed with you only two examples one is homogenesis dioxygenase another one is you know uh, another example this is you can see later in before page this is third example okay that is tryptophan tryptophan dioxygenase okay that's two examples i discussed before itself now i am telling the third example here okay this is phpp dioxygenase see here while seeing this now clinical importance very important you can remember this clinical points when this enzyme is deficient you can see see in this three when this three enzymes are deficient we get three three diseases tyrosinemia 1 2 3 you can remember simply as class 3 class 2 class 1 reverse for class 3 1 2 2 for th- for 1 3 so 
hydrolase class 3 class 3 class 2 class 1 in the reverse order you are getting class 3 class 2 class 1 that is the like that you can remember simply 3 means 1 2 means 2 again here 1 means 3 you can remember like that tyrosine may 1 2 3 coming to this is most common that's the reason i kept this okay most common this is most common second most common least common lc least common mc most common coming to this is the last thing differences between these two three c enzymes you know that femoral hydroxylase by the above you can write simply see fh femoral hydroxylase fh deficient down arrow means decreasing deficient tt you can see tt here phpp dioxinase you can see phpp dioxinase okay see here so that you can write first point about enzymes you already know this second point manifestations clinical manifestation patient comes when this disease patient comes with mental development retardation see decreasing means neuro symptoms these are neuro symptoms see mental retardation same you can see mental retardation mr mental retardation mr mental retardation okay this three you will see mental development is decreasing common point you can remember very easily because neuro problem coming to here mental why you can we can remember this very easily like neuro problem because this is comes under tyrosine degradation in tyrosine degradation you know what are the products in tyrosine you know catecholamines okay melanin catecholamines ty thyroid hormones are the degrading product of or catabolic fate of tyrosine so when catecholamines are decreased catecholamines like norepinephrine and epinephrine these are the neurotransmitters okay when these neurotransmitters are decreased what is happening you will get the neuro symptoms in this way you can remember so nothing here there to by heart everything is concept neuro symptoms are because catecholamines are decreasing due to the defect in the tyrosine metabolism due to the deficiency of these enzymes okay that is the reason you can easily you no need to remember this you can just in in this three you will get the mental retardation coming to hepato it is heptorenal failure it is oclocutaneous neural you can remember neural as same we got before neural another neural symptoms like seizures ataxia also we will get here so that you should remember this okay neural you can remember easily i'm just keeping dot mean already you know you can remember Caesars, just keep tick. Caesars and ataxa, you should remember this too. Okay. This is common between three. Only here you should remember Caesars and ataxa extra. Here you should remember hepatorenal failure, means both kidney and lungs are failure. You should remember this under this. Okay. Here ocular cutaneous, you should remember this. These three, this line you should remember. This is common. For example, in your question, they may ask like a patient came with corneal ulcer to you. Like uh, as a doctor, when patient come with corneal ulcer, that means ocular damage is there. What is it means? It means it comes under tyrosinemia 2. Okay. Cutaneous damage is there like hyperkeratotic keratotic plagues on soles and palms. On soles and palms, if there is uh, any palms, if in if in palms if any keratotic plaques are there in soles and palms what it means it means you can it means it's one of the symptom tyrosinemia 2 you can see that cutaneous also you can suspect okay so that is the reason you can also answer this as a clinical question when clinical question they'll give you as the patient came with corneal ulcer and also with plagues on his soles and palms uh, and with mental retardation what is the probable diagnosis what is your answer obviously tyrosinemia 2 okay in the same way when a patient came with hepatorenal failure okay kidney failure and liver failure along with the mental development along with some other manifestations like cabbage like body odor okay boiled cabbage you know the smell the same smell will come by the patient okay from their body or urine you can remember this cabbage like order from the patient so if you see these all conditions also color skin color is yellowish that means jaundice you know means color order 
hepatorenal failure neural symptoms by this all you can suspe suspect that it is tyrosinemia 1 okay in this tyrosinemia 2 there is no any smell in 3 again you have some smell swimming pool smell you should remember this tick mark okay here you should remember cabbage from the patient if you get cabbage smell that is 1 if you get swimming pool order means swimming pool in uh, you will get some order of chloride ions from bleaching powder you get some smell that is swimming pool because in urine the chloride ions are released in that way you will get some swimming pool order you know need not remember that all things just remember that swimming pool enough here cabbage here no order don't remember anything here skin color only yellowish you don't have anything here okay in this way you can differentiate between 1 2 and 3 actually many points are there in this for example in 3 you will have many other symptoms but i am not mentioning all symptoms just i am mentioning only common between these two so many are there in 2 and 1 also so many points are there you need not remember everything and you you feel difficult to remember all the most important points i covered and the most common points you can easily differentiate between 3 and you can remember easily only i classified into this 3 okay in any books in your uh, textbooks also you will give only simply tyrosine one separately this 3 they will give separately okay you should read separately like a whole disease one separately two separately three separately but to remember it easily to make it easily i have made it side by side okay simply to as a whole now you can remember very easily see this efficiency you will get one this one two this one three in class three two one three two one okay now simply you can differentiate this three by this all below okay in this way you can remember all three at a time very easily by this classification okay which you feel very difficult while reading alone in textbook separately okay